Here is how you add products and product categories to a WooCommerce store and how you set featured images. Before you do anything, however, you're going to want to set your default image sizes. And you do this from the WooCommerce settings catalog, and then scroll to the bottom here under image options. Now, ideally, you're going to want to prepare your images in advance in your image editing software for the correct aspect ratio and the largest size that will be displayed on your site. Now, the largest size is generally the pop-up images. You could possibly use the built-in WordPress image cropping tools for this as well. So down here, you would set the product thumbnail size. This is the image size that displays on multi-product pages. The next one up is the single product image that shows on the main product page. And the next one up, they call the catalog image. This applies to product categories as well as related products, upsells, etc. The pop-up image size is determined by the size of the image that you add, which is why you want to prepare it in advance at the correct dimension. Now, it's possible that it will scale to the large size image that's set in your global media library settings. I am not sure. But regardless, it's likely that you will need to experiment with this to get it right. Now, we'll go ahead and enter two product categories. This is under Products, Categories, Games. Let the slug auto generate. Add new product category. If these product categories are going to go on the home page of your site, you're probably going to want to add a thumbnail as well. Otherwise, they will look funny. And t-shirts. Hey, that's done. And just go ahead, add a product. Add product here. Add the product name. Then the long product description here. Now, notice this is uh, rich text formatted. Uh, you can add uh, even add images here if you want. You're going to assign the product category here. Call it Games. Now, a note about uh, WooCommerce product categories. As you can see, a product can have multiple categories if you want. You can also add tags to a product, which gives you an alternative way of searching for your product. So let's add a Barbie tag to this product. And remember also that uh, featured products and on-sale products are built-in categories. You do not need to create them as separate categories. Next, let's add the product image. It's simply a featured image. Remember that normally all the image sizes will be created automatically from your single product image. And you can also later override the thumbnail image on any single product if you want. You can also add multiple products to your image by means of this um, product gallery feature. That's very cool. Then we're going to add a, a price. Optionally, an SKU. Now, if you don't want product reviews, you're going to have to uh, disable them from the Advanced Product tab as so. Alternatively, you can disable WordPress comments globally on your entire site by the uh, WordPress Global Discussion settings, but this will also disable comments on your post, so you may not want this. So we save the page, and let's look at the shop page now. Now, WooCommerce is smart enough to see there's two product categories, but only one that has any products in it. So it's skipping directly to the single product view here. So this is the multi-product view page, if you will. Click through the, to the full product page. We have product name, product short description, product long description, and the pop-up image. OK, all looks good here. You can try and add to cart if you want. Everything seems to work perfectly so far. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter two more products offline, and we'll see what it looks like. So here is our shop page with uh, three products. And we'll carry on in the next video in terms of how to change the, the default layout here and set other basic settings in WooCommerce.